Maybe you can play CK on the offlane in this patch. I wonder. I'll try it. I'll try it, man. So we actually swapped and I have Ogre coming up to me. Furion wants to support bottom against Timber? Okay. So we send Furion against Timber and Ogre up here against Naga. I'm very confused, but I will uh, not complain. It might actually be <coughs> safe to spam TA again, by the way. Now that Halberd is 400 gold more expensive, perhaps it's safe to come out now and actually play the hero without getting Halberded like a million times. I'm actually so ready for anti-mages not to buy Halberd anymore, but I think they might still do it. Even 400 gold more expensive, it's such a value item, dude. So they just have a DC mid. I mean, that feels kind of disappointing. Ah, oh, can't hit. We have to wait out the creeps. They have too many creeps right now. I'm mixed feelings about the pauses. In the past, I used to be really like, you know, you should wait for people when they DC. You should give pull. Uh, you should give people some time to reconnect, but. The amount of disconnects in Dota has like rampantly increased in the last two years. Nowadays, people just disconnect every single fucking game. And at that point, it feels stupid to keep pausing. I don't know. Because everyone just disconnects all the time by allowing it and by pausing all the time. You're just, I don't know, perpetuating it. No, sorry. Yeah, I know. I tried to save you, man. The fuck is this mega aggressive Naga Siren? Holy shit. I mean, honestly, this, this catapult has been alive for a year or something, so... Easily worth it for them, what they've been doing here. Sadly, my hero is really shit against Naga in laning stage, so... He'll just keep running at me. There's not that much that I can do about it. Well, I guess we can force a TP out. Hey, look at that. My boy, you reconnect and you get a kill. That's my fucking clone on TA right there. He knows what he's fucking doing. There's a stack here. We can kill top maybe with my stun and your stun. I start. Can I have farm, please? No farm for me. So yeah, we're gonna go for a Manta style. Pretty standard build. Look at this guy. Disconnected for the first five minutes of the game and he's level 10 at minute 10. What a god. He's so good. Now we have Midas and Power Treads. Yeah, they just, they just get our tower. Not much to do about that. 
Oh, my butt. Yeah, we can probably just take top tower, I think. We just melt towers for Saigon. This is such a classic build that works on a lot of heroes. You just go Midas, Midas and Power Treads into Aghanims, and that's what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, Aghanims is an interesting item in my opinion. Uh, Aghanims and CK creates an illusion for allied heroes as well, and additional illusion for CK as well. So one more illusion for you and one illusion for every ally. Which uh, honestly is a pretty big thing with the super low cooldown on the Aghanims now. And uh, I think it can just add a lot of confusion factor in the fight, but also a decent amount of DPS. <laughs> I should have just... Oh, actually, I didn't have ulti yet. I couldn't have ulted. Should just have TP'd immediately, I guess. Don't know if he had uh, support. That was clean, though. That was very clean. Like I said, this guy, he knows his TA. Yeah, it's it's me number two, my clone. They're coming here. Can try to rush. I don't have mana. Ah, oh, fuck it, fuck it. Let's not do it. It's very risky. How is CK mid? Pretty underwhelming. Pretty underwhelming, I would say. Loses most matchups. Boss one. Hmm. Yeah, things are not going great right now. Here and meet a farm forest. I yeah, they were still here. I go now? I don't know about that. This seems like such a throw, but... Just try right here. Stop spam. I will trust. Next here. Getting memed. No! I can't stun him! Mm. Yeah, I mean... I did feel that that was not the way to go Roche. That's a pretty bad idea. But he wanted to do it, we try it. Stream snipe. They don't need to stream snipe. It was super obvious. It's very likely that they have a ward. We have not de-warded the river at all. Uh, we just showed everyone before that running towards them. They know that we're all together. They have TA and clockwork so they can scout either by rocketing or putting a trap, which they did both of those things. I don't know. That's it's not about stream snipe, it's just about that being a horrible time to go Roche. We can't do it. We don't have the brute force to do it, so we can't. That's that's it. Oh, but it could be focused here, TAT. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I tried. I don't think we can focus now, I got Oh, it actually doesn't work if he is used. I didn't know that. Guess I learned something. Holy Chicago? I guess I'm still going Halberd, even though it's nerfed. Or BKB actually. Probably just BKB and none Halberd. If I can. Aghanim's on Chaos support. Mm, well, I'm not a support, but but yeah, you can you can buy it on a support CK. It's kinda hard to reach though. You typically don't achieve the farm needed for Aghanims in a good time. Oh, blocked. <laughs> I got him. TP out. The classic song TP. Illusion, dude. Thank Real now I get in trouble. Got her. Are you catching that? We're back, boys. I'm gonna go with the reality rift pierces. I mean, that's a it's a you moment. I'm sorry, dude. Why are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of illusions for him. Yep. Refraction That's gone. Insane. I need this, I think. Just armor up a bit so I don't get bursted. So I can actually die right now. He's going assault caress, so it's a bit awkward, but I can still go for still go for Lotus or something. We have two halberds already. I could go for a third and just complete. You have ages. I have no cooldown on this shit. I just spam it. I mean, Shiva is Shiva is actually not out of the options here. 
Maybe we can catch. Mm, no yules. Real Naga here. Here. That's the real one, probably. I don't have a detection for him. The invis is just owning me. Okay, this kind of works. Kind of works. Not not perfect, but. I don't know if we had detection in that fight against the TA. <laughs> Try always drop a sentry in the fights. This TA, she melded. She survived only because of Meld and Nuts. <laughs> Aghanim's on Jug too. We're Aghanim's gamers. Aghanim's warriors here. 30 seconds I have again. That's the thing, the cooldowns are extremely low on this ulti. I should probably have taken the duration talents even in this game. Help the boy! We're coming! Hello, bro! <laughs> My <laughs> army! <laughs> it's honestly good now, right? The Agonims? No cooldown, seems good. Do I go Octarine? Yeah, I do! It's up! We go! Illusions! <laughs> yeah, this Aghanim feels legit. Very nice item. Okay, okay. I die. I live again. Dude, that build actually felt so legit, chat. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be honest here. That build felt so fucking legit. Offlane CK Midas treads into Aghanims. It's amazing. Isn't spell prison better on you here? CDR is so good on this. It is very good on me, but I mean, he's still Leshrac. It's it's definitely amazing for him too. You gotta look at it like this. Yes, spell prison might be stronger on me than it is on CK or on uh, Leshrac. However. What item do we put on him instead then? The leveler? I don't think we're trading one for one on the item, right? And if I'm not taking the leveler, then Juggernaut, I guess, will have the leveler. But Juggernaut has ninja gear, and ninja gear is also fantastic for Juggernaut. He's definitely the best ninja gear carrier on our team. 
So at that point, how do you swap these items around in a way that sounds stronger? It doesn't necessarily, you know, there, there's no way to do it. Even if Prism is better on me, so is Leveler, you know. So that, that's just, you, you let him have it. I definitely would enjoy having a spell Prism too, but I don't need it really.